Hello everyone, so I'm going to talk to you about something called Keynote Live. Um, Keynote Live is sort of similar to Nearpod or Pear Deck. Um, these are all programs that will push a presentation out to student devices. So what you see on your tablet is the same as what students see on theirs. Um, and it allows you to kind of um, paste the presentation instead of everyone looking up at the screen everyone can look at their iPad so everyone gets a good view there's no problems I would highly recommend that this is paired with Apple Classroom because Keynote Live does not uh, lock the students in the app so if this is um, a class where you're worried about maybe students going to different apps or uh, maybe the focus isn't going to be there 100 percent I would recommend that you pair this with Classroom um, get um, Keynote Live going then lock them in uh, to Keynote so that they can't go to different things. However, this would also be great um, in meetings or anything else, or especially in classes where, you know, maybe the students are going to be fine and they are going to stay in there and it's not going to be a problem. The problem with Keynote Live is once you back out of it, um, the I believe the owner or the presenter has to reinvite you in, so it can be a pain if people are jumping in and out. So I have a presentation here pulled up. Uh, this is just a presentation I was giving, or the coaches were giving to the Chamber of Commerce, and I want to make this a Keynote Live. So I'm going to tap on the three circles up at the top. Um, and you'll notice the second option is Keynote, Use Keynote Live. So Keynote Live is going to launch, and it's going to um, ask you to invite some viewers. So I'm just going to hit Continue. It just tells you what it is. It's a way to view the slides from anywhere. Blah, blah, this would be great for webinars, things like that. So now I need to invite viewers. So I can either invite them normally uh, through, let's say, airdropping would probably make the most sense. Um, if it's a meeting, if it's, let's say, just a um, students, I believe, yeah, you can share it to your classroom, to Google Classroom at least. Um, so you do have some functionality here. It is a little bit on the limited side, admittedly. So what you can do, under more options, you have this big long link. And what you could do is just copy that link and then paste it into your iTunes U course or your Google Classroom course. Um, and this might actually be beneficial because then if they accidentally back out, if they click on the link, I think it'll put them back into the presentation on where you're at. Um, now you could add a password if you don't want anyone getting into the presentation at any time. So let's say you're covering uh, test review materials or maybe going over a test from the day before and you don't want people from other classes jumping in whenever. Uh, adding a password will allow them to only get in once you tell them their password. All right, so, um, and then once you invite people, it does take about a minute to kind of get it all configured and going, and that's just on Apple's end. Um, but then it works like a normal keynote presentation. You're gonna, you're able to um, progress through the slides, and it's going to progress everyone on everyone's iPad at the same time. Um, it's, it's a nice feature. It is not nearly as robust as Nearpod. Nearpod is something else that does this, um, or Pear Deck. Um, those are much. Those are both much more robust programs. Um, but this is quick and easy, and you don't have to download an extra app or get kids to download an extra app. Um, so it can be kind of fun, and uh, it's just kind of a little bit different way to present information. Right, if you have any problems or questions, don't hesitate to come and see me or email me. Otherwise, uh, good luck.